What's up guys, today I'll be showing you how to go from this to this in Lightroom and achieve the orange and teal effect in Lightroom Classic. So today I have opened up this image in Lightroom as you can see down here and the first things I like to do with all my images is go down over here to lens correction and hit remove chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections so and then I come up here to white balance I like to have a little blue in my pic Im uh, pictures so let's just move that slider down just a bit just uh, so I'll put set mine at 48,000 40 uh, 4,800 Kelvin and my exposure up to around plus 0.16 and my contrast up to 37, 38. All right, so, and we'll move the highlights down and the shadows up, as well as the whites. And I'll move the blacks down. So you, as you can see, you can already see the contrast in the picture. We'll skip over the texture clarity and dehaze and vibrance and saturation for now. And we'll come down here to the tone curve. So in my picture, I want to have a bit of a bit more of the contrast. So I'll move my shadows down, my mids just above the the line, and my highlights up as well. And then I'll skip over the HSL tab for now, and I'll I'll come down here to the camera calibration. So I'll, I won't mess with the shadows and tints. But I will mess with the red primary, so uh, I like to keep mine at around positive 72. Uh, the saturation, you can fix it. You can fix it according to your pictures. I'll set mine at positive 27. And my green hue, I'll move it towards the blue side more, so positive 100. And blue primary, I'll move it down to negative 100, and you'll see what happens in just a second. As you can see guys, you can see the teal, blue, or orange and teal effect in Lightroom guys. I'll move my green slider back just a bit, my blue back just a bit. Alright, so as you can see, we have achieved that orange and teal effect in Lightroom. And we'll come back up here to the texture. I'll move that up and my clarity up. And I'll add some haze to the picture as well, guys. And I'll move my highlights down. I don't want that to be blown out. As well as the whites. And I'll move my vibrance up and my saturation down. And for the tone curves, I want a little bit more blue in my sky. So I'll go over here to the blues and use my adjustment point. Place it on that and then move the highlights up. Just, just a bit. So, right about there is good for me. So as you can see guys, we have gone from this to this in Lightroom. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll leave a preset in the comments down below, in the description down below. Go check it out. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe and like this video. It goes a really long way guys. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.